The man most likely to put a stop to the Raiders' finals charge says he's hopeful he'll be fit to play in Friday night's sudden death final in Canberra. West's Tigers' Benji Marshall was injured in Saturday's marathon loss to the Roosters. Jennifer Browning reports. It was a double heartbreak for the West Tigers on Saturday night. They lost to the Roosters in Golden Point extra time and Benji Marshall was forced from the field with a knee injury. But things might be starting to turn around for the Tigers. Marshall's injury isn't as bad as first thought and the 5'8 has vowed he'll do everything possible to take the field on Friday night in Canberra. Yeah, I feel all right. Um, you know, I've had a couple of sleepless nights though. So, um... Just trying to ice up and do everything I can to make sure I can um, be 100% to play. While the Tigers are racing against the clock to recover from 100 minutes of gruelling football, the Raiders spent the day lapping up their sixth win in a row. Yeah, I think the Tigers will definitely feel uh, that 100-minute game. I know I would. Um, I struggle with anything more than 45 or 50 minutes myself. It's been seven years since Canberra fans were treated to a home final and spirits could be lifted by the return of Captain Alan Tung, who's been battling a calf injury. I trained really well at the back end of last week there. There was probably still a little bit of doubt, but we made the decision early in the week not to play. So I uh, trained again yesterday, went really, really well. So, um, you know, just up to the coaching staff now. The Gold Coast have a week's rest, and with a host of players injured, it couldn't have come at a better time. Fullback Preston Campbell is certain he'll be ready to play in next week's preliminary final after recovering from a hamstring injury. I had a few runs last week and pulled up a bit tight, but I ran today and it's feeling really good, so... And this week off is just going to be better. And after dispatching an unwanted intruder at today's training, the Titans appeared primed and ready to take on any opponent. Jennifer Browning, ABC News.